my all-time sales for as long as I've been on Mercari is... Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. In this video, we are going to talk about items that I sold on Mercari. I sell mostly hard goods on Mercari, but I do have some clothing items over there as well. In this video, we're going to talk about my sales. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And a lot of these I'm going to be going from memory because like on eBay, I can see my custom SKU and I take notes and I know what the item sold for. And I, that's on my eBay. I don't keep it on my Mercari. So a lot of this, I'll just give you a roundabout, but I pretty much know what I pay for things. Now, Mercari as a platform, I love it. Should I be working it harder than I am? Absolutely. Because as most of you know, if you follow me, I am on YouTube every single day. So I put out a video a day and I sell on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And and most recently, I have been selling on whatnot. So I am rebalancing my life to try to um, incorporate this new selling platform into my life, which means I have not been working my eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark as hard as I should be. With that being said, I'm very proud of myself. Today, I listed a bunch of items on eBay. And I immediately went and cross posted them with List Perfectly over to Mercari and Poshmark. And I also went back and did some of my other high dollar items and put those on Mercari and Poshmark as well. Because if you're not getting those items on other platforms, they're not gonna sell. You know what I'm saying? Because nobody can see them. And different platforms equals different eyes on your items. And it does work, cross posting works. And as I said, I do use List Perfectly. It is fantastic. I have been using it since 2019. There's a demo video down below. It shows you, it walks you through how to use it. It shows you if you want to use the catalog. It shows you if you don't want to use the catalog. At the end of the video, I had List Perfectly actually send me some footage of some other things you can do with List Perfectly that I don't currently use. There are so, there's just so much opportunity with List Perfectly. So check it out. If you watch that video and you feel like it's something that would benefit you, that you would use for your business, you can use coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, and that's going to get you 30% off your first month. All right, so let's get started with the items that I sold on Mercari. And you have heard me say before that toys and plush do really well on Mercari. So if you sell those items, definitely consider it because you're going to get $10 when you join and another $20 when you sell $100 worth of stuff. Uh, so that's $30 to shop. And my link is down below if you want to join Mercari after you watch this video. So let's get started here. The first item I sold is this Worlds of Wonder Hector 1987. And it is a duck that goes with the mother goose duck. You connect them with a wire and they function together. Now, my mother goose didn't work, so I couldn't test it. I will tell you that I sold the wire that connects them separately. And I want to say that went for like 70 or 80 bucks. That is your bolo. That wire that goes in between them, sell it separate. You will make great money on that. So this guy is untested and I sold him for $60 plus shipping. Now you're going to see that I actually charged shipping on this item. If the item is heavier and larger, sometimes I will use Mercari shipping, but for the most part, I do free shipping and then I use pirate ship. It just works for me. That's what I prefer, but you can do whatever works best for you. This came from a garage sale. I've had it a very long time. It took a long time to sell. I had this on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, and it sold fastest on Mercari. If you go back and watch, um, it was a thrift battle uh, on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel, and I featured this item. I bought the Mother Goose, this item, a whole bunch of tapes, but all of the details are on that thrift battle. So you guys can go check that out if you want to if you want to see more about it. But uh, yeah. So I relisted this item on 123.23 and it sold for $60 plus shipping on February 16th. So once I relisted it and got it back up 
pushed up in the algorithm, it sold pretty quickly. So it is Worlds of Wonder Hector 1987. The next item is this Leap Frog School Bus Fridge Phonics 26 Alphabet Letters Magnetic Complete. And this is, uh, I really buy these so that I can do videos on my reseller testing Bolo products channel because for some reason, these videos get really good views. So I take the letters and I stick them into the little device and I record myself doing this and I put it on that channel. And for some reason, tons of people want to watch it. I don't know, but it's, I think it's got over, I don't know, between two and 5,000 views, which is crazy for me just sticking letters into a little, uh, a little toy. <laughs> so I don't know what to say about that. But anyway, I will pick these up. They do sell. I sold this for $28 with free shipping. And I will also generate some income by testing that product on that other channel. Not a whole lot, but some, you know, it'll probably pay for the item over the next 10 years. Vintage Disney AAI Mickey Pendant Gold Tone and Black. I sold this for $17 with free shipping. I believe I got this out of a mystery box from Auctions for You. I will link her down below. She has a YouTube channel and she sells to resellers. It's Auctions, the number four, and the letter U. And I, again, it'll be linked down below. You can click on it and go check out what she's selling. But I basically bought a box full of stuff. I paid one price for it with free shipping. She ships it to me. I do a video on it. I show you guys how I listed everything. And if you want to see those videos, you can type in Bolo Buddies Auctions for you and it'll pull up those unboxings. They are educational because I show you how I listed everything. This is a Vera Bradley bracelet. I don't remember where I got this. I want to say I got this at a garage sale, but I'm not 100% sure. It's been listed a really long time. Again, it sold fastest on Mercari. I sold it for $23 with free shipping. And I'm guessing my cost of goods was probably a dollar or less. This is a vintage 1992 Crayola collectible holiday tin, 64 box of crayons, $25 free shipping on this one. I remember getting these. I bought a whole bunch of these at a garage sale, but I also got a few from an estate sale in a bulk buy. So I'm not sure which one this came from. I think at the garage sale, I paid two or $3 for them. And the estate sale would have been a buck or less. So 25 free shipping on that. And it is sealed. This was also listed for a very long time. It is a fish necklace, gold tone statement, chunky, articulated nautical fashion jewelry. And it's just a fish. It's just a fun fish. And I'm going to tell you that fun sells. I'm learning that on whatnot. I actually get excited when I find fun little things like this. Like the other night I was selling um, some really funky rings. Um, there was one and I slid it on my finger and I call it, I called it an alligator. And somebody's like, no, I think that's a hippo. And I'm like, what? I'm like, maybe it is a hippo, but it was the coolest ring. And you know, people love to wear fun, unique, different items. It doesn't have to be the fanciest item, but if it's fun or weird, it is going to sell. So if you guys are not following me on whatnot, I'd love for you guys to come over. I do jewelry auctions right now. I have, um, sometimes I mix in figurines. I think I'm going to mix in some toys as Christmas gets closer, but um, absolutely love the platform. So I'm working that into my new weekly schedule. I go on three times a week and I love it. And I'd love for you guys to come follow me over there. If you're not on whatnot, you can join with my referral link down below and that's going to give you $15 to shop. So come hang out. Even if you just want to watch, you can use that $15 with anyone. And if you want to sell on whatnot, I have a separate link that um, will say that I referred you if you use that link and you may get accepted quicker. All right, so let's move on to the next item. I don't remember where I got this either. Uh, again, it was probably a dollar or less, probably a garage sale. This is a Yeti replacement lid. I got this at the Goodwill bins and I actually was thinking about keeping it for myself, but it was actually on a mug, a tumbler, but the tumbler, I forget what was wrong with it. There was something wrong with the tumbler and I just decided to sell the replacement lid. And it sold for eight bucks free shipping. Not a big money bolo, but hey, you know, just something you may not have thought about. 
This is a vintage carved brooch mother of pearl. And this also took a very, very long time to sell, but I sold it for $40 with free shipping. And if I had to guess, I probably had this on eBay anywhere from 20 to 30, because what I do is I'll list the items on eBay and then I run sales on eBay. I don't run sales on Mercari, but I do have best offers on Mercari. So $40 free shipping on this. So I made more selling this on Mercari than I would have on eBay. This is a Star Wars Transformers uh, Skywalker Jedi Starfighter com incomplete. Probably picked it up at a garage sale for a dollar or less. Sold it for $29 free shipping. This is for Honor PS4 brand new mature 17 plus. I got this at the Toys R Us going out of business sale. I believe it was 90% off when I got this. Let me see what the tag. I thought it still had the price tag on it, but maybe not. So I don't recall. I probably had $5 or less in it. I sold it for $29 free shipping. It took a long time to sell. You guys know when Toys R Us went out of business. So it, it's I've had it a while. These are the Poppy Troll Lot of Three. Same thing. Toys R Us going out of business sale. Probably had a dollar each in these. So not big profits on this. Retail arbitrage. You guys aren't going to get the same profits as going to a thrift sale or thrift store or a garage sale and bundling things and doing things like that. So maybe it was only 50 cents each. I don't remember if I got them at the 90% off and how much they retailed for. So $12 free shipping on those. These are the mixed lot of 60 dog magnets. So I have a whole bunch of these listed over on my whatnot in my buy it now section. And I have them individually priced at, I believe $2 each. And I did this before I decided to put them in my whatnot buy it now section. So I took 60 of them and I was going to sell them in lots like this. I did sell in the beginning, my very first show on whatnot, I was think I was selling them in lots of 10 or 15, maybe even 20. And I sold a bunch of them that way. And then I did this one. And then I decided, you know what? These are great stocking stuffers. These are great items that people can put on their cars during the Christmas season. And I was like, these are lightweight. So these are fantastic for the buy it now section. So I listed a whole bunch of them and they've been selling really well. But I sold 60 of these for $95 with free shipping. And I'm guessing that a reseller probably bought this. The next item is this vintage. Oh, uh, these came from the Goodwill bins. I, oh my goodness. I feel like I bought almost all of them, but I know I left some in the bin and I wish I would have bought them all, but they were all some, somebody had donated them probably from a store that went out of business or something like that, because they were all still sealed in the original packaging and they're magnets. Vintage Ohio farmer patch trucker hat, snapback hat, green mesh, no problem cap. Uh, this one, oh, I think I got this at a Goodwill Benz, and I think this might have been during a challenge with Dad Planet. If you guys are not following Dad Planet, he has an awesome YouTube channel, and it is growing like a weed. When I tell you, like the man is getting major views, so go check him out. He does a lot of Goodwill Benz videos. I know a lot of you have been asking me, Where's our Benz videos? I have not been to the Benz lately, so I apologize. I'm going to try to get you guys some more footage. Um, coming in the near future. I'm really focusing on whatnot right now, and I just haven't been to the bins. So, and my inventory is out of control. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to um, get to the bins and maybe not buy 50 pounds of stuff every time I go. <laughs> so anyway, I believe I got this hat during one of our challenges. I will link Dad Planet down below. Definitely check him out. I sold this for $40 free shipping. The next item is this vintage 1999 Teletubbies tablecloth. This came from a garage sale. I don't remember what I paid for it. I think it was probably $5 or less. It did take a while to sell. I sold it for $40 free shipping. And I thought it was going to be a quick sale because uh, Teletubbies can do really well. This is a vintage signed JJ pewter chalkboard math teacher charm pen. I sold this for $15 free shipping. And again, this sold fastest on Mercari. So jewelry does well on Mercari also. Uh, Disney Mulan doll. 
toys, Monster High, uh, Bratz, those type of dolls also do good over here. Sold this for $15 free shipping. And I think I got her in a bundle of just dolls. This is a vintage Lions Club Crow pin sold for $18 free shipping. I had it with just a bunch of pins. I don't know. Um, I don't know where I got it. I get stuff everywhere and it was just all mixed in with pins. So probably very, very inexpensive cost of goods, less than a dollar for sure. These are vintage diapers size four. Um, I picked these up, I believe at a garage sale. I want to say three to $5 and I sold these for $75 plus shipping. Uh, I'm sorry, free shipping. This is a 1997 special edition holiday Barbie. I sold it for $30 with free shipping. Apparently when they got it, it had got shifted around um, and the arm, I guess the sleeve, the sleeve was off the doll. And they said that the packaging, uh, the stickers that go over, I guess the part that seals it were not there. I don't know if they ever had it. Um, so I, I just told them they could return it. Uh, let me see what here, right here, right here. I guess there's supposed to be stickers over this. I don't know. The item's never been removed from the box. So it was in brand new condition, but they opened up a return. I said, okay, return it. You know, I'll just sell it to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? And they closed the return and did not return it. So I don't know what they were expecting. If they just thought I was going to give them their money and let them keep the item. That's not how Mercari works. If you open a return, you have to return the item to get your funds back. So um, it's not like eBay where the seller can choose to just give you a refund and not get the item back. So $30 free shipping on that. And I want to say I paid 3 to $5 for that at a garage sale. And those are my numbers. And we are back at the beginning. All right, you guys, I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I know people that sell only on Mercari and make a living selling on Mercari. Uh, eBay is my main platform. What not, what not, what not is, it, it's creeping up there, guys. I'm going to tell you, uh, it's, I make more money on my items on eBay, but I'm flipping a lot of inventory quickly on whatnot. So I can go on whatnot and sell a hundred items in one night. I'm usually on between four and five hours if I sell that many items. So how much am I making per item? It really depends on the show. Some shows are better than others. You know, I might sell one item for a dollar and another item for 25. So I basically look at the average at the end of the show. And I think about how much I could have made on eBay. And I'm like, oh my goodness. But then I also think I didn't have to list it on eBay, you know? So I'm probably selling to resellers and uh, um, also buyers that want things for personal use. I feel like I have a mix of buyers that are definitely buying from me. Now, I don't know a whole lot about jewelry. If you come to my show, please excuse my ignorance. I just do the best I can. What I can tell you is this item is pretty. <laughs> and pretty sells, unique sells, different sells. You know, I know how to find things that I think people want to buy. So that's super fun. So come see me on whatnot. Again, there's a link down below. You can get $15 to shop. I do have lots of shows scheduled. So bookmark my shows. I hope to see you. I am doing a whole series of styled by Bolo Buddies. Those are bundles that I create that look really pretty together. Usually anywhere for from 10 to 15 pieces in each lot, each bundle. So you can basically buy it, keep what you want and sell what you don't want. That's what I would do as a reseller. I'm like, oh, I like that. I'm going to keep it. Oh, I'm going to sell that and make some of my money back. Or you can just sell it all. Whatever you decide to do, depending on the deal, you get on it. So I've had lots go for $6. I had one lot go for $80. It really just depends on the bundle, what's in it, who wants it, and that's how it works. But definitely check out one of those videos. I'm doing them twice a month right now. So we'll see if I can keep up with that. Um, I have a show coming up. It's going to have 40 bundles in it. And I still have four or five bundles I need to make. And I'm like, ah, 
<laughs> and it's in, let's see, what's today? Today's Thursday and it's on Sunday. So I'm like, I got to get these bundles done because it takes a long time to shift through all that jewelry and find beautiful things that look well together. So it's not easy and it takes a lot of time, but I love it. It's super fun. And I hope to see you guys at a show. And so let me just show you my all time sales for as long as I've been on Mercari is $34,673. I don't know when I started Mercari. I will tell you that I do not work Mercari like I work eBay. Uh, should I? Absolutely. Every item I have on eBay should be on Mercari and Poshmark, but it's not because I'm like full time on YouTube and everything else. And I just can't get it all done. I probably should pay somebody to cross post for me because I would be making so many more sales if all my items were on these other two platforms. But I just do what I can when I can. Now, for those of you that do not do YouTube and do not do all of the other things that I'm trying to do, get those items on other platforms. It will pay off. So, but I wanted to show you the difference here. Um, revenue is your total gross revenue generated from sales. So that's 34,673. My profit is my net income generated from sales after subtracting shipping expenses and selling fees. Now, I do free shipping. So there are no shipping, there's no shipping involved here. So this is just the deduction of my selling fees. So you can kind of get an idea of what they're taking out of my uh, revenue, my what my profit is after they take their part. So I feel like it's fair. I really like Mercari as a platform. So let's check out what sold. Oh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, thanks for watching.